drink a cup of mustard. Jacob. Jacob. Why me? I hate mustard. <laughs> he gets Jake, mad. I would do it for money. Who's likely to get upset over it? Who's likely to get the... I hate mustard. <laughs> Down here, so I don't want to sit on it, but... So that's why I look like I need my V8, but... Uh... You know the V8 commercial? Where he's no. walking? So, okay. We're going to the full festival. Being a mom is the most challenging yet rewarding position I could ever have. Knowing that these little people were placed in my care by God to care for them, to instruct them, to love on them is a reward. Um, Batman, Superman, oh, um, Flash. You were Batman one year. No, that was Jacob's costume. Oh, that was Jacob's. Okay. okay. She has been married to her husband, elect her for about 20 years. She is a mom of four boys. That's right. Four boys. <laughs> and the oldest is 18, right? 20. Oh, uh, turning 20. The oldest turned 20. Okay. And she is a speaker, teacher, author, radio show host, counselor, crisis therapist. So, yes, you guys, she's wearing a lot of hats. The question is, how is she doing it all? <laughs> That's the key. Right, right. Yeah, I'm not, and I get that question a lot. I get to people saying, oh, this, this, this. But I'm not doing it all or trying to do it all. Um, I think very much in terms of what season I'm in, where my children are, my family's always my priority. Here. <laughs> it reminds me of me and you. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. So what else do you think as far as, as a mom, what we can do to make sure we're also taking care of ourselves? Because sometimes if, you, you know, sometimes I feel so drained. Right. And when I feel drained and tired and, you know, exhausted or whatever, then it's like, take it out on them, yes. you know, yes. whether I need to or not, you know what I mean, so, like, what do you think are some of the tips that we can do, yeah. even something that might be so minor that we didn't even think about it, yeah. for me, for sure, one of the things is that I just really like to start my day with devotions, mm -hmm. and spend that time just talking to the Lord and seeing what He has to say to me, and I am one of these firm believers that the Lord really speaks to His children. Right. You know, yes, I his, believe that too. Yes, yes. If you're in his word and praying and just attuning your ear to him, mm -hmm. then he's going to talk to you and devotion time, a quiet time, then it's not this, okay, it's an obligation, I'm supposed to be doing this. It's something you look forward to, mm -hmm. to have with the Lord. And that has been key for me because I cannot tell you the number of times mm -hmm. that God has really encouraged me and energized me just through my devotion time. Um, so that I think is an important way and a key way in my life mm -hmm. that being uh, energized, taking care of myself, being the best that I can be. And being the best that I can be doesn't mean me without mistakes or right. errors. Yes. It's um, <laughs> it's like, as moms, we know we're not perfect. Yes. But I think that sometimes when we see our shortcomings, then we go, oh, oh my goodness, but we're not perfect. And having that relationship with the Lord has also helped me in that regard of knowing that God is really presiding over my children. Amen. Yes. Above and beyond me. But it is also a challenge in terms of the sacrifices that will be necessary in loving them, in caring for them, in providing. A raccoon was following me, mama. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the heck? So man's like, there's a raccoon behind you, or a cat, well, I don't remember what he said. There will be times that I'm gonna have to do things that I don't wanna do. But by doing that, by making that sacrifice, that will be a blessing to them. That will be a good example for them. What else are you thinking? I think that what we think about mm -hmm. ourselves yes. 
what we say to ourselves in our heads mm -hmm. is a, a really important aspect of taking care of ourselves. Right. And we can get into not just negative patterns or mm -hmm. self-defeating thought patterns, but we entertain them without even sometimes realizing mm -hmm. they're there and becoming more conscious mm -hmm. of what am I thinking about? Where did that thought come from? Well, wait a minute, I don't have to accept that thought as a given. Yes. And really taking thoughts captive right. and lining them up to, okay, what does God say about this mm -hmm. situation? Mm -hmm. Who does he say I am? Yes. And really doing the self-care of what's going on in my head mm -hmm. and replacing the ones that are deficits, negative thoughts, things that are not productive, with the uh, the deliberateness mm -hmm. of, no, I'm going to think this. This is who God says I am. This is how I know I'm gifted. These are the great things that happen today in my family or with my kids. Yeah, come here. My person. Um, who is your, who's your best friend? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is your best friend? Yeah. So obvious, but I'm gonna say it anyhow. It's taking good care in a deliberate way of our husbands and our children. Mm -hmm. And I say that because we can become so busy and so much is maybe needed of us and, and demanded of us, and there's the doctor appointment and the dentist visit, and oh, this form is needed to be dropped off at the kids' school. Someone forgot their lunch, and there's just so much that comes up. Right. And then we end up feeling guilty about are we connecting with our children, and are we having meaningful moments with them. And I think that guarding that and in the everyday moments, being deliberate about building relationship with our children, of having conversations, having laughter, having encounters with them that are meaningful. They don't always have to be planned, but just okay. being intentional and okay. in connecting with them. It enriches their lives. I think also then as mothers, we would have less of that went by the whole week went by still didn't do this for the kids or that with the kids but even if we didn't do the big ticket items with them like I had plans and every day after school I was gonna pick them up and take them to a different outing and this and that and all these and even if that didn't happen but we're able to say you know what I had fun with them in the car this week or that was a really great learning moment mm -hmm. this child opened up to me and you know that we just have those around the dinner table which brings me to another one, okay. but but then also with our spouses, of right. being able to to our husbands to take time and to connect and to make sure that they know that they are a priority mm, in our true. lives. That's good. And I I reverse the order in which I said it, but really it's the husband, your your husband, right. knowing he is a priority, and then together the kids are a priority to the two of you. Yeah, and I'm I'm guilty of that for sure because I know. With Jay, I have to be intentional. And sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't because I'm so busy with work and the kids and everything. Because I'm thinking, well, he knows what I'm doing. Yeah. So surely he's going to appreciate <laughs> that. Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's thinking, you didn't even come in my office to say hi at all today. Right. But I'm yes. thinking, I'm busy taking care of your kids. These are your babies. <laughs> yes. Come on. <laughs> and you know, it's so true. And I, I learned along the way that even just simple things like when my husband walks through the door, my face lighting up, the, hey, that acknowledgement. And not that I've always gotten it right. And even with the kids, not that they're, like they're teenagers now. And I can clearly look back and see things I would have done differently. Mm -hmm. um, and I wonder, too, like my children, as they get older, it's going to be interesting to see what do they do and not do with their kids one day right. based on the things I got yeah. right and the things I got wrong. <laughs> right. But at the same time, it's I've been learning from my own mistakes. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of wanted to go back with what you mentioned as far as connecting with the kids. Like, for example, whenever I pick them up from school, I'm always asking, how's school today? Yes. How's school? Yeah. The answer is always, Fine. <laughs> and that's for all of them. It's so funny. Side note, Kai came home because Jay picked him up and he goes, Hey, mommy, how was school today? That's what he asked me. And I was like, Yeah, what? <laughs> so it's like, with them always saying, Fine, or you know what I mean? Like, how do we do I 
grow more or where I guess the question is what are some of those things that I can say or try to connect with them and because sometimes it's so hard right well that's a great question so for little ones um, who are like preschool and elementary school age <clears throat> what you have what you have is an, an opportunity there to get on their level with their playtime mm -hmm. yes and I think we underestimate the power of play for mm -hmm. children and a wonderful way to connect to them and hear them start opening to you right. is to play and follow their lead. Obviously, I mean, you're going to correct them if their lead is, let's right. draw on the wall. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but as much as you can, follow their lead, affirm what they're doing, mm -hmm. and kind of mirror them. You know that it's, it's something that, as busy moms, it can be hard to do. Like, well, I have to get this other load in, and I need to get the dishes done, and dinner needs to be on the table. And so, I don't know that I have time to do it. But even if sometimes it's just 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and another time it's five, another time it may be 20 minutes, but your child gets the message, I am in power. So, where can they find you? Okay, well, on any social media, Dr. Don Marie. Okay. And website, drdawnmarie.com. Okay, well, there you go. It's very easy. <laughs> Dr. Don Marie. And I will also have her information on the description box and her link, everything will be on there. If you have any other questions for her or if you just want to go to her YouTube uh, account and just send her some love and just, you know, whatever, just love on her the way we do at this yeah. big house. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming at this oh, big house. And thank you for having sharing me, some knowledge. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. So you guys, we love you. Thank you. And we will see you at the next video.